have an infrared, we have the brick, and we have a push button as a trigger. This is a simple module for a timer. We have a loop with a case, and inside of that um, switch statement, we have another loop that has a timer outside and a timer inside. The timer inside is going to be the the time is going to be recording the time from the very beginning and the just as the timer outside though the timer outside is going to stop once the inner loop gets a start gets started and afterwards we're going to have a a simple subtraction from the starter time to the final time. So basically, these loops, this this switch is going to keep this loop number one ongoing, and this greater loop number three is going to allow us to keep to hold the values intact. So we have this system run, and as you may see, the timer is there on. They're still recording zero, 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 zero. Once we trigger with the push button, oddly enough, this time recorded is how much time it took us from the starting of the program to the pressing of the button which means the indication for the competitors to go but now this timer is still counting so once the the timer gets stopped by the infrared sensor which is this block right here with this loop breaker is going to break loop number two which is going to go to the outer loop, to the outer uh, switch, finish it, drop onto this switch, and finish this loop without allowing this timer to record any more time. So does this one. And our loop, num loop number three is going to allow us to keep the values ongoing. So now I'm going to stop with the infrared sensor stop it has a final recorded value 85 seconds with the of the total time and this is the initiation the time to initiate therefore my final time is going to be 70.381 seconds so that's a simple way, a simple loop, switch, loop, and switch statement.